Good afternoon, Bradley here. I just have a couple albums to show today, both jazz and um, actually I think they're both binaural recordings. I was not aware of one of them being binaural, but uh, the other one I, I was aware of. So anyhow, the first album, and this is pretty cool. This was put out by Chesky Records uh, back in 2008. Now, I, I always wanted a Chesky vinyl recording, and they're, they're a little tougher to find. You can find the CDs and the digital files, but to find the actual uh, vinyl album, it's a little more difficult. So anyhow, they just re-released this, repressed it. It is called Jazz Side of the Moon. The music of Pink Floyd. And this is on Chesky Records. Uh, the artists are Sam Yehel, Ari Heenig, Mike Marino, and Seamus Blake. It's got really nice colors on this. And this is, it's got a sticker, number 838 of 1000. Right there. So this is currently available. They just uh, it just came out uh, a few weeks ago, and I'll show you the vinyl, which is really really wild. They did a fantastic job with this uh, record package. Here we go. What's this pink job? Look at that. Ooh, nice. It's got most of the colors of the uh, prism in there. Really, this is one of the best color splatter vinyl albums that I do have. And it comes with a nice insert in here that describes the recording and everything. And actually, it tells where they put the microphone. I did not see this before. So you're using a binaural microphone, which is, I think, one of those things that go on your head, has two microphones coming out. So I'll show you the diagram there. So it looks like it was placed in front of the sax with the other instruments to the side. So this has guitar, sax, piano, and drums. No, no, no wrong. <laughs> it has organ, sax, guitar, and drums. I'm not sure if I said that already or not. But this sounds awesome. Uh, hey, it's Dark Side of the Moon. That's a mellow album, I hope. I think you all agree with that. So this is mellow, but they do a pretty good job on here. Uh, you know, how do you do Dark Side of the Moon with a four-piece jazz group? It makes it really challenging because a lot of Pink Floyd's music depends on those sound textures, either uh, Gilmore's guitar or synthesizers, stuff like that. So you have to make do. Uh, on some of these songs, the pian or the uh, guitar does kind of have the same sound effects as some of those songs, so that remains constant. So anyhow, this has uh, well, I think it's got all the songs on there: "Breathe," "On the Run," "Time," "Any Color You Like," "The Great Gig in the Sky," "Money," "Brain Damage." A lot of good songs on here. Uh, Brain Damage, I really like. Money sounds really cool. Great Gig in the Sky, they all sound really good. So the sound quality on this is really nice. I do not have headphones, so 
I can't get the the full probably binaural effect, but uh, I think it's good enough. Sounds really good. It's got really nice liner notes that uh, describe everything. So anyhow, that was an excellent purchase. I love that vinyl pink job on that. Now the second album, uh, my cousin turned me on to this. He's, he said he was thinking about getting it. Uh, now, my tastes in jazz, he's fully into jazz, but he's kind of out there. <laughs> I'm a little more traditional, although I like some avant-garde, but I don't like the really, really free stuff. So if you would combine both of our record collections together, it would be one hell of a collection because you would have pretty much everything. But uh, he has all the weird shit and I got the sane stuff in mine. <laughs> Anyhow, this came out... Uh, I think a couple years ago, the repress or reissue, 2022. It's a craft recording. I'll show you the. Uh, it's uh, Sun Ra, the futuristic sounds of Sun Ra. And I will have a close up on the uh, sticker there, which I cannot read it right now because it's all backwards. But. Uh, Uh, originally produced by Tom Wilson. I think he was with uh, uh, Dylan and uh, Zappa, a ton of different artists. And this was uh, uh, all analog mastering by Kevin Gray at Coherent, pressed at RTI. Now this was originally on Savoy. Um, I'm thinking it was 1962, and I will show you the Savoy label, which they are consistent with the label. Very nice. I think I only have one other Savoy record in my collection, and it's like an original from the late 50s. It sounds really good. Now this one either on the liner notes or maybe I checked with Wikipedia I don't know it's got really nice liner notes front and back uh, so somewhere it said this was recorded by back in 1962 really but it was it was released uh, at that time it was it was only released in mono so they didn't use the binaural stereo. Uh, this is in stereo. Sounds fantastic. Uh, I would be willing to say the original, of course it was mono, but the original, I'm thinking it probably didn't sound really, really close to this. This sounds ungodly, ungodly good. It was, it was recorded very well. Good pressing. I don't know what they did in the remastering, but uh, man, it's it's good stuff. It's uh, so Sun Ra. This is my first Sun Ra album. <laughs> I was always going to pick one up, but it's like he has what 300 different albums out. What do you pick? What's available? Mm. So when my cousin told me about this, uh, this is. Actually, it's uh, a decent amount of hard bop along with maybe a little avant-garde. Uh, now, when I say avant-garde, I don't mean free stuff. That's my own interpretation. I don't know if that's correct or not, but if something's free, I'll say it is free. Otherwise, avant-garde, a little quirky, but uh, this sounds amazing and the actual style of the music I like it uh, some of the hard bop numbers 
Uh, they're, they're hard bop, but they have a little quirkiness to them, and, uh, which I like. Something just a little bit different. Um, they got a lot of percussion on here. Uh, so you got Sun Ra on piano, John Gilmore on uh, sax. Bernard McKinney plays the euphonium and trombone. Uh, among other artists, uh, you've got bells from India, Chinese wind chimes, wood blocks, maracas, scratchers, gongs, cowbells, Turkish cymbals, castanets. So uh, a lot of times you hear a pretty good percussion on here. And the way this was recorded, it reminds me of the uh, those contemporary recordings, jazz recordings of the late 50s, early 60s. Like, boy, very nice sound. And, you know, Sun Ra's catalog, I mean, you can go from, the, from this kind of stuff <clears throat> all the way to really far out stuff. And um, I think he died in the 90s, but uh, they've carried on. Uh, John Gilmore, he kind of carries it on. They still have the Sun Ra Orchestra. But uh, the futuristic sounds of Sun Ra in stereo on Kraft Recordings. Really good, really good. So that's it for today. It's a nice warm day. I mowed earlier and Got the rest of my plantings ready and uh, did a little watering, so I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope to catch you all in my next video. See ya. Take care.